So let's continue building out the inner shell. And before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this little area here with this triangle. It looks kind of funky. Uh, so I'm just gonna go into my vertex mode and I'm gonna select both of these. I'm gonna detach my edit mesh window again. We're gonna continue along the same, uh, same path with the same set of tools. So I'm gonna do merge to center here under the edit mesh tools and I'm gonna grab these two as well and I'm just gonna hit G to repeat the command. And that's gonna clean that up a lot nicer. You can see that it kind of flows a little bit better. And we have this triangle here. We can move it over the other direction if we'd like with the split polygon tool. Sh hold shift, hold right click, split, split polygon tool. And you can just route it up a different direction if, you, if you'd rather have it go up with the uh, direction of the geometry. So before we go ahead and build out the interior, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little opening here that's gonna connect and it's gonna go straight back to the top here. So it's gonna be kind of like a wormhole. Uh, and I think that's just gonna add a, a nice effect that uh, since we're just working on a concept massing, you know, we can try a couple of different things. We're just gonna try this kind of on the fly. So I'm gonna select both of these and I'm gonna go up to mesh, combine. And I have my under display, polygon, and then vertices. I have that uh, turned on, which is what you see. The vertices are being displayed. And like I mentioned yesterday, that's always good to have open because you can see when you have vertices that are not in the area or position you want. So uh, I'm gonna delete the history. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna take this face here and I'm gonna bring it up to this area here and we're gonna make a, a hole that's gonna be, uh, when it smooths out, it's gonna be a nice little transition that's gonna cause that involution there. So we need to clean this up a little bit up here because we're gonna want this four-sided face on the underside and we don't really want to replace this face here and have it go all the way to the edge. So I'm gonna use my split polygon tool and I'm just gonna make a new, a uh, couple of new edges here. I'm gonna route this one over to here I'm going to route it over in this area. And then I'm going to take this one over here. And I'm just going to select this edge. And go over to Delete Edge Vertex. And I'm going to line these up a bit, holding my V for Vertex Snap. Okay. So that's a little bit better. Because now, now we see we have this, uh, this quad here to work with that's going to provide a little bit of a nicer uh, transition. So that's going to that's gonna work out pretty nicely. So, okay, let's just go ahead and I'm going to grab both of these faces and I'm just going to delete them. And I'm going to go over to my append to polygon tool and I'm just going to tap the first two edges and I'm going to hit W or you can hit G to repeat the command. and I'm just appending these straight across. So now when we hit three, we see we have an, uh, the involution that's been created. Kind of a little wormhole here. Cool, and so if we want to tighten this up a bit, if it's a little too, uh, too large in the center for your taste, we can go back to display mode one and go over to insert edge loop tool and just add a, a couple of edges if you want to tighten it up a bit. Remember, that's going to change the basically the distance that the smoothing has to take place from edge to edge. So it, it goes from this edge to this edge is a smaller distance than from this edge to this edge. So it'll have a, a tighter a tighter transition. If we put one here and one towards this side, you can see it's, it's already made it a bit tighter. If we undo that, you can see it. So uh, play around with that however it is you want to have that. You can start small and go large, or start large and go small. So either way, that's fine. Okay, so now that we've made this little involution here, I'm going to actually get rid of it. I like it this way better. So, okay. So we notice, uh, let's delete the history. Edit, delete by type, history. And so now that we've deleted the history, 
I'm going to go ahead and now stitch these two together. And we're going to work off of that to build the uh, inner liner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to shading and just use the default material for now. And right away you notice that the top and the bottom don't line up as far as the amount of vertices that are on each one. And that's usually something you want to have uh, kind of taken care of. Uh, but for now we don't really need to deal with that too much just because, like I said, I mean this is a concept massing and if, you know this will get cleaned up more and more as it becomes more refined. And we kind of want to maintain the some of the positions of, of how this how this is smoothing out in certain areas. We don't want to start adding resolution here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the append polygon tool. And I'm just going to click these two here. And then I'm going to go around uh, to this one all the way on the other end. I'm going to hit G. Just do it again. Just do one here. And I'm going to go to my edge mode. And I'm going to double click here. And you see that that selects that entire edge loop. And I'm going to hold the uh, space bar for the hotbox. And I'm going to go over to mesh and go down to fill hole. And so that filled that hole with a polygon. But of course you have to, you can't leave it like this. You have to go in and start adding the edges to close off these corners here. As you can see there's a missing edges here. So I'm going to do my split polygon tool again. And I'm just going to grab one here and across and just make sure that you snap it all the way to the edge and so I'm going to go over here and do one here Oops, sorry do one here and then another one here another one there and so I'm going to have to make a triangle here. And that's fine here. That's not really a problem. Another one here. And I'm going to close this one as well. Put it on this corner. So we have four there. We have another one here. So let's do the same thing over here. I'm going to append a polygon tool this edge. And I'm going to go to my edge mode, double click that edge. Go to mesh, fill hole, grab my split polygon tool again, and start connecting these here. And then we have this little guy we're just going to stitch into, actually there's already a couple going there so I'm going to go this way. Okay, and then the last set here. So I'm gonna go once again back to my edge mode, go down, mesh, fill hole, and then grab the split polygon tool again. And like I said in the previous lessons, definitely make a hotkey for split polygon tool. It's one of the most, uh, most important and uh, most utilized tools because you always need to have the ability to so sometimes you have to make sure you get this in the proper area. There we go. And uh, it's something you really need because you'll have to start adding geometry and cleaning up certain areas, rerouting geometry for however it is you want uh, the directionality to behave. So in this case, we'll go this way. Okay. And I'm going to delete the history. So I'm going to go edit, delete by type, history. Okay, so when we hit three now we see, and it's very soft uh, right now, and that's one of the things we're going to work on as well. Uh, the reason why I wasn't so worried about uh, these points not lining up and having certain triangles in these areas is because we're actually going to use creasing to harden this entire edge uh, and not really deal with what's happening in between the two for now. So, great. Now we've combined those two together, and we're not going to do the creasing till. Uh, till after. Oh, I missed a spot here. I'm going to go this way, and then with this one, I'm just going to go across. Great. So, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and uh, make the inner liner, and then we're going to worry about creasing it right after that. 
So let me get out of the shaded mode. And great, so we've made the hole and we've cleaned up, combined, stitched the edges together. And it's a, a little soft, like I said, but we're gonna deal with all this stuff later. So now let's worry about building the inner liner. I'm gonna do that in the next lesson.